straw funny. I like drinking from a big straw, but I guess I don't have boba straws that are smaller, shorter, whatever. Welcome back to the vlog. Glad you're here. Today has been pretty productive. It's Wednesday. Last I spoke to you guys, I was in Miami. Miami was a great time. Got back really late on Sunday night slash Monday morning. It was like 1.30 because we were delayed due to a passenger dispute with the flight attendant. And I'd never really been part of something like that before. Basically the woman who was dripping in Gucci and Cartier bracelets, I was like, is that me? Uh, she made a comment under her breath to the flight attendant, apparently, about there being no overhead bin storage. And she was like, it's disgusting that people uh, were putting bags before they sat down. Like, I guess like people that were further back on the plane were putting their bags uh, in the overhead compartments further up. Very relatable, we've all done that. But she was like, it's disgusting that people do that. Anyway, the flight attendant did not like that she said that. And she, sh I mean, she shouldn't, right? We're all in this together on a plane, like sit down and shut up. Like no one wants to put their bags anywhere other than right above their head, obviously, but like shut up. And the flight attendant was like, I don't feel safe with you on board. And the pilot got involved and the gate agents got involved and she was kicked off the plane. It happened so fast. And honestly, I was shocked that they escalated it to kicking her off the plane. It seemed a little bit harsh. I'm glad, um, that we still got out and whatever, it was a great trip. Today is fun because Brendan and I are going to see a Broadway show. We're gonna see Kimberly Akimbo. It's closing, unfortunately, at the end of this month. So you don't, you know, I'll, I'll give you my thoughts on it, but there's not much time to see it if you don't live in New York, unfortunately. My parents saw it and they loved it when they were here visiting. Um, so that's why I'm going to see it. And I haven't been to see a show in a while and it's something, you know, I've lived in New York for 15 years, something that I always forget to do. I forget that there's Broadway shows here. Um, but first, gonna enjoy the smoothie. I've got a little work to do. I should get back from the gym, I can shower. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please take the time right now to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. It really helps the channel grow. I know a lot of you watch my videos every single week, but you're not subscribed. I can see in my analytics the percentage of people who like just return but aren't subscribed. And while I very much appreciate you watching, it really helps my channel grow and get more visibility if you subscribe. So I would appreciate if you take the time to do that. After I finish working for the day, I'm gonna I wanted to like, I started to go through my closet a little bit and I noticed that I've been gravitating towards certain bags more than others. So I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite spring luxury bags um, and that I've been incorporating more into my looks and why I like those bags. And yeah, I think that that'd be a fun thing to do. So while I'm getting ready today, I'm gonna show you guys all those bags. But for now, let's finish this smoothie and get to work. And then when I'm showered and kind of more presentable, we'll go through the bag stuff. Okay, you guys are not gonna believe this. Remember the Louis Vuitton bag that I went to get repaired? I'll put some clips in now of it. They're telling me that they can replace that panel that broke, but it's gonna they're gonna charge me $875 plus tax to do it, which I think is absurd. That, I did not do, first of all, I used that bag pretty sparingly and like I could count and name the amount of times that I've used that bag. And the fact that they're telling me that it's, that I have to charge, it isn't, I think it's insulting. I've also never requested a repair before. And I am I, like, look at my profile and how much I shop at Louis Vuitton over the course of my life. It, it, it just is like, it, it's actually insulting that they would charge me for that. And um, it's taken them two months, like that vlog, that I included that in was literally early February. It's now April 10th. And I think it was probably like February 5th. And now they're just getting back to me and they're telling me that it's 875. No, absolutely not. It's the next day. I ended up working a little bit longer than I thought I was going to yesterday, so I didn't have a chance to go over the bags with you, but we're gonna do that now. First, I wanna tell you about Kimberly Akimbo. It was 
I'm not kidding you, probably one of my top five favorite Broadway shows I've ever seen in New York City. It was so, so good. The subject is a little strange. If you were to read the bio, which is uh, that a young girl who has a rare disease in which she ages four times faster than the average adult, uh, it's about her time in school and family trouble and just navigating this really strange life. The life expectancy of someone with that disease, which by the way, I forget the name of the disease, but it's so rare. There are fewer than a thousand cases a year in the United States. And so basically she's 16 years old. She appears to be a 60 year old woman, 64 year old woman. And, but she has the, the brain and the mind of a 16 year old girl. And it is so heartwarming and it's so sad at times, but mostly it is laugh out loud funny because it's just, the, the writing is so smart and so funny. There's so many funny characters and it's just that beautiful story of, you know, it, it can be a really heavy subject matter that really makes you think, but is funny and lighthearted at the same time. And that is that, that to me is the, the perfect kind of storytelling. And I was, I'm so glad I got to see it. Unfortunately, it's closing in New York City on April 28th. So if you're in the city or you're visiting the city, I cannot recommend Kimberly Akimbo enough. The music is amazing. The acting is amazing. And it's just a beautiful story. It's the original Tony, it won uh, the Tony for best musical in 2023. And it's the original cast still. So you, you have the opportunity to see it with the original Tony award winning cast. If you don't get to see it in New York City, it is actually going on tour, I read. So you could check it out there. Not sponsored in any way. The one takeaway from it was people who are, when you're young, you wish you were older. And when you're older, you wish you were younger. And very rarely do we find that happy medium of being happy with where you are. So it really was an impactful message that I took to heart. And I'm a pretty sensitive guy. And I don't know, I just felt like choked up at times. And I just felt like, I just felt it was just such a beautiful story and it, there was something so pure and innocent about her of just wanting to experience life and experience life to the fullest and um, she was so self-aware that she had limited time and she was so self-aware that she looked different um, but at the same time she was really excited to experience life anyway let's on that note let's talk about bags <laughs> let's let's change gears to talk about luxury goods anyway um, that is what we're gonna do and I've got four of my favorite spring bags here, or bags that have been in my spring rotation. They're not new bags, but um, listen, I, I used to be kind of like, as a guy, like turned off and shy away from those crossbody bags, but I have become completely obsessed and think about them all the time and incorporate them into my outfits and looks. And I've got a few bags, four bags total here, one from Loewe, Bottega Veneta, Jacques Mousse, and Goyard. And they are my go-tos, my favorites right now, and they're all very different and different price points as well. So let's go through them now. This is the Puzzle Bum Bag Small from Loewe, and this is the black color. This is the biggest of the bags that we're talking about today. It's also the biggest bag that I currently have in the crossbody style, and it's the number one reason why I held off on buying it. I, have, I, I actually have the mini size, but I was always really curious about this larger size, but I was turned off and I was like, I wonder, I think this is gonna be too big. This, the size is now the number one thing that I love about it. It's my most used bag. If I was going on a trip and I had to only bring one bag, it would be this bag, no matter where I was going, no matter what I was doing, no matter what time of year it was, because it's just such a versatile bag. And uh, I like that it's a bag that I have to wear on the back side of me. So it kind of almost gives a, sling messenger bag style versus a smaller sort of like bum bag style that you're wearing, you know, crossbody style that you really wear more in the front or on the side of you. Whereas this one is too big in my opinion and for my build and frame to wear on the front. It's more of a bag that you would wear on the back. And the size is just super convenient to have like an all around back. You know, if, you, if you're going to the gym and you all you need is a bottle of water, you can fit a pretty big size bottle of water in here. It fits, uh, you know, a, a, a camera could go in here for your day. Oh my God. This is like one of those things that goes on the microphone of a camera. Oh, it's for this camera. Okay, whoa, that fits in it. The design of it, listen, puzzle bags are so beautiful. If you, if you love the puzzle bag design, you're gonna love this one. Um, 
it's just got this, you know, beautiful stitched together design, uh, which is iconic to Loewe and the puzzle. And I'm just a sucker for it. I think it's so beautiful. And yeah, I, I think that if you're looking for a bag that is on the bigger side, which I think, I think makes it a little more masculine as well. So if that was a concern for you, I, then I, I would consider this bag. Um, this bag retails for 2,400 US dollars, and which honestly is pretty good given the size and considering that what I'm also gonna show you and the prices for those. So I think it's a good value and it's really durable and, uh, and yeah, it go goes with so many looks. This next one is from Bottega Veneta and this is the cassette bag. This is technically a men's, part of their menswear collection. It's the, it's the medium size, so they have a small size as well. This is the medium, and this is the wood color. I like this bag because I, had, I did not have a brown leather bag, and that's what I was looking for because in the spring and in the summer, that is, I, I, want, I wanted a bag for daytime that wasn't black and that wasn't a, a darker color. So I purely just want, was drawn to this bag or was looking for a bag that was lighter, and this is the one that I chose. The, the contrasting stitch is so beautiful to me and just makes it a little more interesting than the, the solid ones that have the, the color match stitching. The, it has a magnetic clasp opening and then the inside is decently sized. I will say that this bag looks like it would be bigger or would hold more, but because of the, I think they call it intretto, intreccio, the, the weaving of it, whatever, makes it a little bit thicker. So you can see that the inside is not as big. So in here you're getting a phone, you're getting your AirPods, uh, you're getting maybe a couple of smaller accessories, but uh, it's not really gonna be saving the day in terms of size. And I don't love that it's just magnetic. I wish it had something a little more secure because if you're not, if you're in a big city or you're somewhere where you're concerned about pickpocketing or theft, like that's really easy to open and yeah, you get it. So uh, it does have the zipper pocket inside, which is convenient for preventing theft or just keeping things a little bit more secure. But this is this bag looks great. It has an adjustable strap and it goes, it goes, it's a good length. Sometimes I find that crossbody bags do not have uh, the strap is not long enough, but this one I do feel is a good length and is just perfect with, with summery spring fits. Even into the fall, I mean, honestly, obviously all these bags are good for season, all seasons. I'm just telling you what I'm more drawn to, but the quality of this and the craftsmanship of this is really high quality. The leather is thick and sturdy and feels durable. And I haven't ha gotten any scratches on this bag and I brought it to the beach. I brought it on um, to pool. Oh, here's, oh, it's a penny and five euro cents. Okay. Guess I threw pennies in here. It was, it was, it was uh, connected to the magnetic clasp of this. Anyway, that's the Bottega cassette bag. This next one is from Jacques Mousse. This is the La Cuerda bag in a suede khaki green color. Got this one in France at the La Cuerda store. So, I'm sorry, at the Jacques Mousse store. So there's a bit of uh, a nice memory there for me. And this bag is very affordable. This bag was around 700 US dollars. They don't have this color online anymore, although you can find it on third party retailers and a lot of them are actually on sale. Mr. Porter even sells this bag. Uh, they also make it in a in this in the vertical sized if you if you know what I'm talking about. So uh, anyway, what was what immediately drawn drew me to the bag was the color. I'm upset. This is my favorite shade of green. If I could live in this world of green, I would. I like the big chunky canvas strap, and I like the way that that looks with the green, and I like the big chunky zipper pull as well. Uh, that, that to me is a nice detail. Inside, you're getting a pretty big. Uh, this is, I think that the, the size of this bag inside is actually bigger than the Bottega, just based on the Bottega material was a little bit thicker. Inside you're getting a, obviously there's a zipper closure, which I do like a lot just for security purposes and just making sure nothing falls out. And then you get another zippered pocket on the inside, great for a wallet or money. And then you have another pocket here too, so that's nice. But then otherwise it's just the big canvas interior uh, which honestly would probably stain if you were throwing anything that could stain it, like makeup or something like that. 
Uh, and then on the outside, there is another pocket as well. The suede is really high quality feeling and very soft, but you can see it does show some blemishes. You can already see there's a scratch on it. And what I did notice is that, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it kind of, it kind of has creased right here. And yeah, you can see that. And it just it hasn't kept its perfect shape. Like you can see the back, it's kind of like the perfect shape, but the inside just, just creased for whatever reason. And I don't, I don't know why. It's, it's, it's like, was something pushing on it or something? I don't know. I haven't used this bag too much to be honest. And then in terms of the, the uh, hardware, so you've got this, this carabiner here on the outside, but I don't know what, I guess you could attach keys to it. And then the strap is not completely removable, but for whatever reason, this one side does come off. Is that just design? Because I don't know what you're doing with just one size. I'm sure it's not designed. Leave a comment if you know what that is for, but there's, yeah, anyway, nice detailing on this. And for the money, I think this is a great value. I think it's a great bag. It's one you're not gonna have to worry about too much. The suede obviously is going to be a little bit more susceptible to scratches and damage. So if you can get this in either a cotton canvas or they offer it in just calfskin leather as well. I would go for that if you're looking for something that's a little more durable, but if you can be careful and you, you love the look of suede, which I totally understand, then go for it. The price is right and uh, you're getting a, a designer bag for uh, a pretty good deal. Lastly, this is the Goyard Cap Vare bag or also known as the camera bag if you're searching for it or doing research. This one I got in London and the retail for this one in US dollars is around 20, 2,500 US dollars, I have to, I think it is. I'll put it up on the screen if it's different. But the, uh, obviously this is just really a brand play. I, if you love Goyard and you love the print, then you're gonna love this bag. I I have this, this is the black uh, colored canvas. I have this in the wallet as well, the Victoire wallet. And I like that, that this is a match set if I ever wanted to be totally matched out with my Goyard. The, the, the bag is a great size. It's a little bit bigger than the Jacques Mousse. Inside, it's zippered. Inside, you're getting one pocket. You get the iconic yellow, Goyard yellow inside. And this, this is gonna fit a lot of great, uh, this is gonna fit a lot of your everyday carry. This is gonna fit your phone. This is gonna fit your wallet. The, a camera, I, I carried around the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 in this while I was in London. The strap is not removable, which is kind of annoying to me because this would be such a perfect little tech bag or accessory bag that you could throw into your backpack or something. But I do love that the strap is thinner. In terms of, yeah, this is the thinnest out of the bags that I've shown today. Like I'll just show you compared to the Bottega. You can see that those straps are pretty, pretty different. The Bottega is at least double the size. Well, no, it's double the size. So I would, I would say this is probably about a half inch strap and the Bottega is probably a little bit less than an inch strap. Um, so it just gives a little bit of a cleaner look, which you'll see as I'm styling it on myself. But this is a, a really nice bag. It's a high quality, nicely designed bag. And it, it's a neutral, I find. Like it goes with this outfit really nicely. It goes with black really nicely. You're not gonna be Although it is a louder pattern, you're not going to be in a challenge to find an outfit that it, that it goes with because it just, it reads as a neutral and I got a lot of compliments on this bag already and uh, I'm really excited to have it part of my collection. That's it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're not subscribed, I would appreciate you guys subscribing. Like this video if you like the content and stay tuned for the next one. There's a lot of exciting things going on uh, in my life and I'm excited to share with you. See you guys.